Hi, it's Ramya from, from Tax Accounting Adelaide. Uh, today I'm just going to explain how to claim your car if you're using it for business or for work-related purposes. So you may or may not know there's two ways you can claim your car for business and work-related expenses as a tax deduction. The first, the most simple way is called the cents per kilometre method. And the maximum you can claim per car is 5,000 business kilometres per year. All you need for that is you don't need written evidence, but you need to know how you work at your business or work related kilometres, such as produ by producing a diary of your, or a records of, or you can reconstruct it from your outlook or your diary uh, of the amount of kilometres you, you, you've done for the year. So you, need, you just simply need to add up the kilometres you've done for the year. A maximum 5,000 you can claim at, at uh, the current rate of per kilometre. So it's an easy way to claim, but generally as a rule of thumb, if, if you're spending more than $100 per, per week or doing more than 100 kilometres per week, then you're probably better off doing the, the more uh, sub, sub, substantial way, which you can claim more, which is called the logbook method. Now the logbook method, the aim of the logbook method is to do a logbook for three months and that uh, proves how much you're using your car for work or for business. Once you have that percentage, you can then apply that percentage to all your running costs of the car, including depreciation of the car, the interest costs of the car, uh, petrol, of course that's a big one, um, insurance, registration, repairs of the car. So uh, I'm going to just open up a logbook. Uh, I find in my in, in my experience and in my opinion, a lot of people are reluctant for some reason to do logbooks. They find it's a lot of work, or uh, it can be a little bit uh, tricky, and uh, they can tend not to, to 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 get get up and and get it going and do it. But yeah, look, you need to do it for three months, and it is a little bit of work, but it's going to provide you substantial tax benefits because you'll be able to claim more and you'll also have the peace of mind of doing it right. So let's jump into a uh, logbook. Uh, this is just a little template we use. So you need to put your name on your logbook um, and you need to show the period that you started the logbook for and the end date of the logbook. So obviously you need a start date and then three months later your, your logbook period end date. You need to record the odometer at the start and the odometer at the end. You can also put in your date of birth in there as well. Now obviously the odometer end minus the odometer at the start is your total kilometres your car's done. And you also need to keep a record of the work related or business kilometres that you've done. So uh, if this is the trip details, you need to have a date. Uh, you need to be quite specific about the client trips. Don't just put in business or work related. You need to, to have details of what you're doing on the trip, maybe the client you're seeing or whatever the specific purpose is. You need a dominant at the start and end of the trip. You need kilometres and you need to uh, um, denote whether it's business or private. So once you've done this for three months, every day, every trip, uh, you then accumulate all your business kilometres, add them up and then come back to this total page. And if you've got your total business kilometres, sorry, your total business kilometres work related divided by your total kilometres, gives you your business use logbook percentage that you can give to your accountant and put in your tax return and then claim all your running costs of the car. So um, that's really important guys. I know it's, a, it's something commonly inspected by ATO when you're audited. Uh, also gives you a much bigger return, uh, a potential to claim more deductions. Uh, particularly if you're running a cost. So some of the industries, uh, carers, for instance, uh, uh, travelling to work sites, uh, salespeople, um, business owners, you need to, to have a logbook. And it also gives you the potential to open up much more bigger claims. Uh, also, if you are saying you're not using your car at all for private purposes, for fringe benefits tax reasons, so you're a business owner and you're your business owns a car, but the, you know, the employees or the owners are using the cars, and a logbook can substantiate that you've got uh, a minimal private use of the car as well, which is really important for fringe benefits tax. If you need any help in claiming your logbook and car, uh, please contact us 
uh, our website is uh, Tax Accounting Adelaide uh, and you can call us on 8337 or uh, reach us on our website at taxaccountingadelaide.com. Thanks again, I'm Romeo. I hope you enjoyed uh, our explanation of how to do a logbook. Um, get started and you can finish it in three months. Thank you.